is question number five. The figure below shows a circle and a point P outside the circle. The circle is there. The point P is here outside the circle. Using a ruler and a pair of compasses, construct a tangent to the circle from P. Using a ruler and a pair of compasses, construct a tangent to the circle from P. Now, what you're going to do as the first thing is to locate the center of the circle. The center of the circle is very crucial when you're drawing the tangent. And now we're going to locate the center of the circle. You're going to use the property of the chords and the center of the circle. So we're going to construct two chords. So those are the two chords. Then what I'm going to do, I will construct the perpendicular bisectors of each one, each of those chords. And uh, this is what I'm going to do. To construct the perpendicular bisector of a line, I take a pair of compass. A pair of compasses are here. So I will start by constructing the perpendicular bisector of this chord. So opening this one. construct the perpendicular bisector of that chord we're going to stand at that point mark an arc at the top there then um, mark another arc down there and then from there after we make that those two arcs stand on the other side of the chord um, cut that arc and also cut the other arc then join the point of intersections of the two arcs using a straight line to get the bisector of that chord so let's join using a straight line so when you join using a straight line that is what you supposed to get so make sure you very careful here so that is what you're supposed to get so let us go to the other chord which is uh, this chord that is here so we want to construct the perpendicular bisector of that chord as well so I will stand here my pair of compasses there standing at one that end of the chord then with the same radius mark the other arc below go to the other end of the chord and then with the same same radius cut that arc below and the other one at the top then from there, take a ruler and join the point of intersection of those arcs. I should be very careful here. So join those um, points using a straight line to bisect that chord. So that is the line. this point where the two perpendicular bisectors of the two chords are meeting that is the center of the circle so now what you're going to do uh, having obtained the center of the circle uh, we're going to join we shall definitely join the center of the circle and this point this point where we are supposed to draw uh, there's this point that is opposed to this P, point P that is outside the circle. That is a point. So we shall join. i make this one a bit longer. So that is the center. And then we have that point P. Now the next thing you're going to do is to construct the perpendicular bisector of that line. So to construct the perpendicular bisector of that line, uh, this is what you're going to do. This is what you're going to do. You're just going to stand here. You shall stand there. Um, now to bisect that line we're going to stand at the center of the circle 
open the pair of compass more than a half of that line and then from there we shall let's ensure that this one is more than a half of the line of uh, that line then we mark an arc there then we mark another arc down there with the same same radius uh, get some space here so with the same same radius we're changing take it to p uh, then cut that arc that you made there so cut that arc and then cut the other arc so after doing that you're going to join the point of intersection of the two arcs uh, using a straight line so let's join that using a straight line that line uh, I, I, I will name this uh, line the center from the center of the circle to P that is OP I can name this one as O. The center of the circle is O. So the radius that you are taking, uh, which is this radius here, the radius that you have taken is this O to, I can name this as well. So I can name this point as N. I can name that point as N. So now the radius that we have is this O N taking O N as the radius you stand at N and mark two arcs on the circumference of the circle that is one arc and then down here you mark another arc uh, after you've done that uh, now you can get your ruler and draw the tangent to do the tangent uh, you'll definitely join that point you to check the point that I'm going to join you have that point P and you have this point where you made that arc and the point where you've made that arc so that is the required tangent that is the required tangent then to the other side again the other side you're going to do the same thing shall do the same thing so this is the point so this is the point that we're joining p and this point where we made this arc so again you join that using a straight line now you have two Tangents. You have constructed two tangents um, from P to the circle. So we started by locating the center of the circle. To locate the center of the circle, we use the property of the chords that the perpendicular bisectors of two chords will definitely meet at the center of the circle. Or the perpendicular bisector of one chord you can use one chord. It passes through the center of the circle. But to get the center, we use two chords, constructed the perpendicular bisectors of those two chords, and then um, from there, after obtaining the center, we joined the center to P, uh, the point P. Then we constructed the perpendicular bisector of OP. Then N was the center of that OP. We took the radius ON, standing at N, mark two arcs on the circumference of the circle, and then join those two marks, I told those two arcs where we've made. Um, using that radius on to p and that is how you construct the tangent thank you